Bed Talk number 44. All good road trips must come to an end. And with that, this will be the last Bed Talk. I woke up this morning just tired, you know, just just tired. And I've had this little thing in my gut for a little bit that has said, it's time to wrap them up, Alex. And I've kind of ignored it. And I've, you know, I, I love when people say, oh, keep going, keep doing it. Like I thrive on that. My friend Rebecca says, Alex, you know, hard work is your crack. I mean, I love to work hard and I love to do lots of things. And I also know that every good road trip has to come to an end and that many times in life, the road trip that you're on or the journey that you're on, it stops before everything is perfectly planned out. It, it ends before you have all of the next right pieces. So in my mind, I was going to get to 50 and then I was going to end it at 50 and I was going to have this big Cheeto chat with everybody and, and record thoughts and, and maybe I'll still do that and maybe I won't. But I woke up this morning and I knew in my gut that it's time to be done. And so one of the things that I think is really important as a leader, as somebody that somebody else listens to, the thing that that I wish I had seen more leaders do, which is trust your gut and take time out to figure out what the next steps are or to figure out what you really want to do. Um, this constant grind that we're all in to be bigger and better and faster and stronger. It's not only hard on the person themselves, it's hard on the people around them. I caught myself in the middle of all this. I just started this wearing my Vinnie Van t-shirt for fun. And I have caught myself many times in the process of making these being incredibly frustrated. I and saying, I've now turned myself into a a media company and I never sought out to be a media company. That's not, that's actually not what I want to do. Um, So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm figuring out how to do closed caption and I'm getting frustrated and I'm spending all this time doing all of these things that at the end of the day, while are good and they're important, they're not, a, they're not the meaningful work that I really want to be doing and they're meaningful connections that I want to be making. I have met so many incredible people through this. I have gotten so much positive feedback from this. And my mission has always been to help other people talk, not to be the one behind the microphone all the time. My goal has always been to pass, like to take this, to, to scream the idea as fast as I could. <laughs> And then get out of the way so other people could do it. Because I am at my best when I am front row fanning you. I am at my best when I'm sitting next to you, helping you put together the ideas that you want to say. I am at my best when I get to stand behind the curtain and watch you do the thing that you do. I am a minivan mom that way. I am the one with the snacks (laughs) and all the things and the Kleenexes and the stuff in her bag. That's who I am. And this has been a tremendous amount of fun. And I also know that it's time to take a break so I can continue to do the things that I really want to do. I mean, my gosh, COVID, this, this whole space has been such a crazy ride of ups and downs and amazing things. And what it has taught me is where I really want to be and the work that I really want to do. So I'm not saying I'll never make another video again. I'm sure I will. I don't know what that's going to look like. I'm not saying that I'm like going to drop off the face of the earth. That's not it. I'm saying that the most important thing that I can do is to trust my gut and know when something's done. And that's the same for you. There's something in your gut right now that you know you need to be done with. There is something that you know you would feel free if you stopped doing. And I want to lead the way and show you that while I have enjoyed this, it might be, and again, that thing, that thing might be something good. These bed talks are good. They're fun. They're silly. That's not it. It's just, it, it's that, that I know that in order to make space for something else, I have to let something go. And this is going to be it. And so I want you to think about that too. That thing that you need to let go to make space for something else is real. And the most important thing is to trust your gut with that. 
Stop asking other people. Stop getting lots of opinions. I'm the, I'm the queen at that. I'm like, what do you think? What should I do next? Tell me what I should do next. <laughs> Let me perform for you. Um, man, that's not the way to go. Trust your gut because you know what's best for you. You know where you want to go. Get behind that steering wheel. Turn the key and start driving that way. Or if you've been on the road a long time, Maybe it's time to pull off, turn the key off, turn off the key. I don't know. You know, turn off the ignition and stop and rest a while. A huge, huge thank you to all of you who have watched these, who have cheered me on, who have sent me messages, who have done your own. Those are my favorite. Those are me. Those mean more to me than, than (laughs) like to watch you guys to watch someone else step out and speak is my jam. And so for you to bravely put your stuff out there, I couldn't be more proud. So thank you. I'm going to pull the van over now. I'm going to give Max one less Cheeto. And I'm going to be back in some way, shape, or form at a different time. Okay, here we go, Max. Are you ready? Come here. Everybody's going to want to see you. Come on. He says he's felt. Oh, there he is. There he is. One last big Cheeto crunch. I love you guys.